To commemorate the founding of New Orleans in 1718, WYES presents this tricentennial moment in celebration of our city's past and present. A single flight cage built in 1916 served as the humble beginnings of today's world-class Audubon Zoological Gardens. There were a few animals on display in Audubon Park during the 1884 World's Industrial and Cotton Centennial Exposition. After the fair, the Horticulture Hall remained on the site and was used to house animals until it was destroyed by a hurricane in 1915. Insurance proceeds from the disaster were used to construct an aviary, and its popularity launched the community's call for a full-scale zoo. By the 1920s, an elephant and a small aquarium donated by businessman Sigmund Odenheimer had become zoo highlights. Odenheimer also funded an attraction that is still popular, a sea lion pool surrounded by a classical colonnade. A redesigned zoo built by the Works Progress Administration opened in 1938 with new buildings and Monkey Hill constructed for the children of New Orleans. By the mid-1970s, the zoo was completely overhauled by the Audubon Park Commission when cramped cages were replaced with lush natural habitats. Existing WPA-era buildings were reconfigured for new uses and the zoo was expanded. Over time, new exhibits have been added to Audubon Zoo, making the 58-acre attraction in uptown New Orleans one of the top-ranking zoos in the nation. With over 2,000 animals from around the globe, and engaging activities for visitors of all ages. WYS's New Orleans Tricentennial Moments are brought to you by the Miro Foundation and presented in association with the historic New Orleans Collection. Additional support provided by the Gale and Tom Benson Charitable Foundation.